I know what even is a think tank. This will not be pleasant for you or the Heritage Foundation. There will be many gotcha moments for many politicians and other billionaires. So, you know, stick around. They are now my enemy. I am a veteran. I do not do well with submit or get a headstone. So let's stick a thumb in their eye with some edumacation. A think tank is a group of experts who are gathered together by an organization, especially by a government, in order to consider various problems and try to work out ways to solve them. Think tanks are generally designated as 501c3 or 501c4 charitable organizations. And not all 501c3s are bad, or think tanks. I'm the head of a board for one, for example. Heroes Alliance. We gather resources, assemble care packs, and distribute them to the homeless. What we don't do is threaten mass violence and offer to hand out headstones. But think tanks are often commissioned to help solve problems on a local, state, or national level. They help think up, write up, and quite literally influence policy. They're supposed to be experts and give evidence-based information. They also do all that other stuff. Pause to read. There are a lot of think tanks in this country and the world. There sure is a lot of money flowing through them, as you can see. But today we're going to drill down on the Heritage Foundation. Buckle up, Buttercup. The authors of Project 2025 have weaponized their donations. It can be a pass-through for dark money. Because of their innocent-sounding names, they can often be working on things that might be a bad look and serve as a duck blind for their donors. According to the Koch brothers, people say, wow, they're so generous. It's just the best available option for them. If they didn't give them their causes, they would have to give it to the government. Good thing the Koch brothers' donations helped eliminate some of the regulations on the oil and gas industry saving billions of dollars for donors who own energy companies. The Koch brothers also donated to the Institute for Humane Studies. That sounds innocent. What happened? Oh, they injected a little propaganda into college courses so they could shape the minds of future, you know, senators, presidents, SCOTUS. No big deal, right? Oh, the Koch brothers donated to the Cato Institute too. Helped oppose the little climate change regulation and campaign finance reform fighting safety regulations why would we want to be safe fostering a little distrust in the government who'd have thunked it a think tank did the help with dark money and billionaires I mean early think tanks weren't supposed to be a psyop I mean it's been going on for a while here's just one example below thunked up from a think tank. I mean, even the president for the Americans for Prosperity. That sounds good, right? They, uh, put a little sugar in the gas tank, admittedly. I mean, the Olin Foundation only shuffled $10 million to Harvard, Yale, and others. Instituting in over 80 of those institutions law and economics programs. And, of course, you gotta have seminars. Only 40% of the federal judiciary participated in some of these seminars. Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Clarence Thomas. An all expense paid bacchanal for judges? Say it ain't so. Who'd have thunked it? Think Tank thunked it. Back to the Koch brothers. They hold a big old semi annual private donor summit, bring in all their highfalutin big money monopoly pals, politically philanthropic organizations. They took their donor network and spent $889 million during the 2016 election, nearly $1 billion all in one single election cycle. All tax deductible. Kind of like how Batman made Harvey Dent. Yeah, they eat some of those fancy bacon wrapped shrimp, and the Jokers show up to rub elbows with everybody. You might recognize some of those names. This is for the Heritage Foundation, mind you. Mitch McConnell was an honored speaker at one of their events. As soon as McConnell was sworn in, you know, when like the hula hoop was invented or something, well, McConnell hired a new policy chief. One from the Koch brothers. Think Jafar and Diego from, you know, Aladdin. And the parrot doesn't care about, you know, greenhouse gas emissions. Here are some of those that donate to the Heritage Foundation. Would you look at that? My representative Jim Banks is on here from Indiana. And apparently some people who don't even know what it is. Awkward. So awkward. There is a way to influence your opinion, mind, or pocketbook. 
A think tank thunked it up. According to the Heritage Foundation, 500,000 Americans donated to them last year. What I read is 500,000 Americans want to put the rest of the country under their boot. Who would have thunked it up? A think tank did. In fact, the Heritage Foundation doesn't just want to put boots on necks here in the U.S. They got boots on the ground in Russia, too. Oh yes, think tanks often accept money from foreign countries, too. Russia, the Saudis, frickin' Viktor Orban. It's quite literally public record that Viktor Orban had a closed-door meeting with the Heritage Foundation and Vivek. Awkward! So yes, think tanks and policy institutes or research institutes or whatever fancy duck blind they want to hide behind. They quite literally help shape your opinion, your trust, your local state or national policy and law, your judges, your appointed representatives. And while I understand that there are good think tanks out there, and it's something we should keep around, but it's something that we need to get better on disclosing where funds come from. So what puts you in the alt-right pipeline? Who influenced your heart, mind, and opinion in such a gaslit little way? That's right, a think tank did. And remember folks, knowing is half the battle. Don't be a traitor type. Pass the ketchup. You fucking turnip! I said, 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 said.